unboxing to do. We went for the G7X Mark II, uh, which retails around the £530 to £550 mark. And I believe at the moment, as of November, Canon are doing a bit of a cashback offer. Worth bearing in mind if you want to save a few pennies. I just want to get in this box, so let's do that. So I bought my Canon from John Lewis. Um, because they also do a two year warranty on a lot of their goods so I thought it would be worth going with them over some of the other alternative stockists let's have a quick look okay packaging more packaging and the all important box mm, super nice obligatory paperwork the rather large manual, the getting started manual. Now I'm kind of a manual reader, so I might make my way through quite a bit of that over the coming days, but I'm sure everything I need to know is in here, so that's great. We've also got, I believe that's gonna be my charger, the camera, which comes packaged like this. So it's got a bit of polystyrene protection on it. Initially I thought that was quite heavy, but compared to my DSLR, it's not gonna be, so. Uh, and, here we have the camera. So we'll do some close-ups of that shortly. I'm going to put that to one side. And then only the only other thing left in the box is our charger, which I shall get out and we'll have another quick look at. Looks as follows. We've got what appears to be a camera strap, wrist strap, which will be great for securing and when I'm doing my vlogging later on. Uh, and our battery, which also comes in a bit of protective wrapping. Okay, so now we've done the unboxing, it's time to have a look at some of the functions of the camera and have a look at it in a bit more detail. So the first thing I notice of this camera compared to my previous Canon PowerShot is that it's got a lovely grip and also it also has a thumb grip on the back. It has a lovely big screen, which is pretty much the majority of the back. Of the camera and why it's super great for vlogging is that the screen extends out so it goes fully up like so which is great for vlogging and it also has alternative views where you can flip it back down extend it out so it gives you great angles to uh, position your camera uh, and to view exactly what's going to be coming out on your video or your photos. So that's brilliant. Having a look at the top now in a bit more detail, we've got our flash built in at the top, which I'm guessing will pop out. Along this section here, we've got our microphone. So super important to keep my fingers off of here when I'm recording to make sure I get the best sound possible. We've got an on off button. We've got our zoom toggle on the top left to right and we've got two dials here which look pretty intuitive from the get-go we've got our manual our um, other options around the top including kind of our auto and our videoing and then we've got a secondary dial here underneath which I'm assuming will allow us to change things like the f-stop on the camera um, and other bits and pieces like that so it'll allow you to shoot all the manual modes that you want which is super good having a look now on the back We've got um, a couple of things I'm not so familiar with. So although I've got a Canon PowerShot at the moment, my main DSLR is a Nikon. So I understand Canon is slightly more intuitive though than Nikon. So I'm hoping I can get to grips with this pretty quick. We've got um, a ring function button that's gonna allow me some additional settings here. A video recording start stop button, I believe. Some additional settings here, our menu button and our playback button to allow me to, I guess, preview and, and view the footage that I've taken. Having a quick look down the sides, we've got our Wi-Fi enabled button here. Um, so I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to access the pictures that I've taken on this camera, perhaps on a Canon um, app that I might be able to download or something similar. I know I have that on my Nikon. And then on the bottom, we've got our area for our battery and our SD card. And I can see from the Details on here that at the moment it's locked. I simply probably need to slide this across, yeah, to open it up. And then we've got our area for our battery and our SD card. Let's see if we can get those in there. So I've got a battery here. This is a Canon standard battery that comes with it. 
Um, it might take a couple of goes to get this in the right way around. So the points on the bottom will need to contact the points at the bottom of the the battery area. So I know that one's got to go face down. Let's have a look. So I put that in there. And that clips in there nicely. So the clip pops down to hold the battery nicely in place. Which is great. And then I just need to pull that up I believe. Yep. And the battery comes back out. So that's the way it fits in. So you've got your Canon icon this side. Your battery details and stuff on the back. And then your contact points kind of bottom left here. So that's the way that, that goes in. And that's exactly the same as my other Canon. And then your SD card goes in the back here and it's got a little symbol. So I know that the corner point needs to go bottom left. The contacts on the back of the SD card go in the back towards the back of the camera, towards the screen side. And then that should just pop in there. Yeah, and then that pops in, clips in there nicely and that's held in place now. And to get it back out, I'll just need to give it a bit of a push. Uh, and that comes out nicely. So that's your SD card and your battery area. And then to, if you don't slide the, the button across, it's gonna keep flipping out. So you need to just relock that by sliding the catch across. And then also on the bottom, you've got your um, tripod um, and other connectors area. So you can uh, fix this to a tripod, tripod or, or such to hold it in place, give you better stability in your images. Okay, and then just having a look around the sides. Yep, we've got our built-in flash. If I push this down, your flash will pop up nicely there. So that's all there. So let's have a quick look through some of the specs of this camera. I'm gonna pop this down here. So um, this camera is a 20 megapixel camera and it comes with a 24 mil wide 4.2 time zoom, which would be excellent for vlogging and such. It comes with an f1.8 to 2.8 lens, which will give you great blurry backgrounds for um, videos and photography. And it should also work really well in low light. So it's a great camera for the evenings um, and when you're out and about. It's also got the Wi-Fi built in, as I spoke about. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it will come with your battery charger, which is lovely and compact. Um, so that's great. It's got the port here for the mains cable that I unboxed earlier. Your wrist strap, which will go nicely on either of these sides actually, which is great because some people like me are left-handed, so great to be able to have that on both sides. And then in addition to what came out of the box, I've got an SD card here, um, and I've also got a 64 gig Pro 1, which should do a fair few hours of video footage for me. Um, I also bought a spare battery from Jessup's, so this is the one that I bought. This is one for Canon, and it retailed at, uh, I think it was $59.99 from Jessup's. So um, just to make sure that I've got that backup one for my upcoming travel trip, I just don't want to run out of battery, so fail safe there. And the last thing that I bought to go with this cam camera initially was the um, case. So I went for the lower pro case, just move that back a bit. So this one I also bought from Jessup's and retailed at $17.99. Uh, and this is a perfect size for the Canon. It's got a really nice wide section at the back for the cam camera to go in. It's also got a little strap there, um, which you might just be able to get crossbody. So your camera can go in nicely there. But what I really loved about this, not only was this the compact size, but this additional zip area here for storing batteries and your spare SD cards. So I can have everything I want here in one place. So super concise. So I'll be putting it through its paces. And if you're interested in um, me creating a, a follow-up video with a bit of a review on my first week's thoughts on this camera, uh, don't hesitate to drop me a comment and I will try and make a review video and possibly include some footage from where it worked really well and perhaps didn't work so well on that upcoming trip. Thanks very much for watching.